Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's Tuesday and it's been raining again. So, it's another wet day. But never mind, we need the water, the water is good. It does mean that my walks that I'm planning are, uh, are not good. Lee's friend went for a walk on the Ridgeway yesterday and it was beyond muddy. He put some pictures on Facebook. Um, so I sent them to Jackie and went, until all this rain stops, I'm really not sure this is something we want to be doing. So I'm not sure it's going to get done this year, to be honest. Not with the weather the way it is. Um, which is unfortunate. But I don't want to start stressing myself about it because the whole point of the walk is an experience and something to enjoy, not the stress over trying to get it done by a certain point. So, yeah, that might not happen. Oh, excuse me, it is nearly 20 past eight. Sam, Ollie, Davy are here waiting for Ruby. Oh no, Ruby's got maths this morning. No Ruby, got everyone who's coming this morning. And then Leo, Finn and Beth are coming during school hours and then the yeah, after school is after school. Er, oh, and my nephew's coming to play, so that would be nice as well. Um, I think we're gonna play my new bingo, Christmas bingo. That would be fun, I think we'll do that. Um, I've got a new sensory, a few sensory things that I bought from the um, Christmas fate thing that I went to at the weekend at Tomley. So I'm gonna get that sensory tray out and um, I'm sure Leo, in particular, because he's a baby, will love the sensory tray. But I'm gonna get that and bring that out onto the floor and then they can have a, an explore and a play with it. Right, breakfast I think, before I do the school run. Breakfast. Have you written a letter to Father Christmas? Yeah. What does your letter say? I don't know what it says. Should we have a little look? You have to open it that side, that's it. There we go. Yeah. What does your letter say? What have you asked for? The, uh, a toothbrush fairy toothbrush. A fairy toothbrush? my other one went down. Oh, okay. That's cool. Do I need another one? So, you, Did you say please on it? Yeah. Good girl, that's very polite. A fairy oh, toothbrush. Oh, you need to write please on it then. And don't forget to sign it with your name so he knows who it's from. Letters, that's it. Buff for Beth. Very neat, Beth. Good girl. Excellent job. Then the eh. For eggs. Did it. Yeah, you did. Well done. T for daughters. And her for house. House. Well done, Betty Boo. Yeah. Then you need to post it to Father Christmas in our special post box. Oh my goodness, it's that rainy drizzle. The rainy drizzle that makes my hair go into curtains and look ridiculous. I've been soaking my cups. In my dishwasher's a bit rubbish to be fair. Um, I'm soaking my cups in non bio clothes washing powder because it gets rid of all the stains. So then I'm going to give them a proper wash with washing up liquid. But um, yeah, it's the only thing that gets rid of the stains, I find, is a bit of washing powder. So we haven't got Finn. Harvey's now come down with the bug, and Finn's still not 100%. So bearing in mind, poor old Laura had to take the whole week off work last week, and she was called in twice to pick Finn up from me. She's like, I've shipped him off to the grandparents. Grandparents are looking after him. She's like, I can't take another week off work. So, um, yeah, just Beth with us today. Um, oh, you found the sensory stuff in the tray, haven't you? They're my new glittery blobs. 
sure they've got a more technical term than glittery blob. That's a yellow one, isn't it? That's a blue one. You know your colours, cheeky. So yeah, we've got Jasper coming to play. And Leo. Leo's only here for the morning. Right, so all those cups clean. Job done. Lovely. So, a quiet day, I guess. A quiet day. Hmm. Just splashed my pot. Beth's exploring the sensory tray with me, aren't you, Beth? What have you got there? Hold on. Luna. Let's go. There we are, look. Flashy snowman on the top of the tower. That's cool. How can we put him down the bottom we, there? Uh, you can see if we'll fit in that pot if you like. You, you can, because watch. You going to open it? Yeah, because watch. Go on then. See if he will fit. That's squishy, squishy. Oh, it's like a little nest for him. Can I then like that? He goes to bed in there, does he? Oh, yeah, brilliant, Beth. That was his bed Good job. The purple there. There. Very therapeutic, well, this. How can we do it? Whee! Very therapeutic. Can I help? You can help, Beth. So Jasper, Beth and I are going to clean out the fish tank. Wow. Leo explores the sensory tray, aren't you? Um, right, we ready? Yeah. Pump, pump. Come on, water. There we are. And that sucks up the muck. Yeah. Suck up the muck. And Jasper's, Jasper yeah. and uh, Beth are in charge of that. This is the clean filter. This yeah. is what they look like when they go in. And this is when it's been used for a few weeks and all the poo's been sucked up. And it's this spongy thing collects all the poos that's not floating around in their water. You see? Yeah. And then we put this bit on. Yes. And the air comes through the middle yes, and gives them some oxygen. Yes. Good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Now we have to look for the baby fish oh, and put them back in the tank. Because some of them are too small and end up going through the filter. Or the pump, should I say. Right, let's take that. How are you guys doing? Oh, you're so strong. Excellent job, guys. Thanks. You're working together as a team. Well done. Number five. It's another ball ball. Number five. Not me. Not, me. Not yeah. you. Oh, Jasper, have you got it? Yeah. Excellent, Jasper. Well done. I have them. No, you haven't got that bauble, have you? Jasper needs a penguin so we can make a line. I want a house. Oh, I want a house to get a line. Oh, my goodness. You're so penguin. close. I got a penguin. Ready? Number nine. Okay. Mittens. Me. 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 Oh, thank you. I got one. Right, we'll put um, a Christmas tree on it then. Oh, best close to making a line too. Oh, get another Christmas tree. Oh, you got it. Okay, pop it on then. Well, Beth needs berries or a gingerbread man, and you need a house a or you need a house or a penguin. Right, okay, it's getting tense now. Oh, or a snowman, Jasper. I can catch. We know there's fish in there because we definitely saw some, didn't we? There was a big orange one in there somewhere. It must be hiding under the muck. Hmm. Where did the fish go? There was definitely one in there because we saw it. There's ah. one. Oh, I caught a baby. There's a baby, look. Yeah. Look, yeah, can you see this, this baby? Yeah. Should we put it in the uh, big tank? Yeah, go. We've caught one, haven't we? Yes. The water's so murky again now. We've stirred up all the muck from the bottom, haven't we? Do we need to let it assess? Well, yeah, we could do. We did catch one though, that was really good. Good job, Jasper, good job.
Right, so let me show you. Oop. Right, Jasper. Puff for Pippa. Yeah. Muff for Mummy. Yeah. F for Elephant. Yeah. There you go. And there's some letters over there. There are. Right, so we have to be careful before we cross the road. Go on then, what letters have you found? F for Elephant. What's that one? So for snake, well done. Or for octopus. Good boy. Love for Layla. Love for Layla, yeah. Layla Beth. Layla Beth. C for cat. Yeah, good boy. Muff for mummy. Well done. My mummy. Everyone's mummy. Everyone's mummy is a muff for mummy. Layla. Yeah, and, and then. And then. Layla. Love for lollipops. Lollipops. Legs. Love for legs. What's the next one? So for sweets. <laughs> What's that F one? For elephant. Well done. You guys are great. No, no that's not so for sheep. Yeah, it is a so for sheep. What's so for snake? Octopus. This word says. No. T r e. No, I can't. What do you think that might say, Beth? T r e. Tree. Tree. High five, Mister. Tree. Good boy. Tree. It says you. Tree close. Oh, well, stand here, Beth. Look, and then you can see. So, what is this one? Woof. For wind, water. water. Water, good boy. What about this one? Yeah, for you. Can we see your, yeah. can we see your stone, please, Jasper? Thank yeah. you. So, Auntie Jackie found this, didn't she? Yeah. When she went on holiday, yeah. and it says, "I want you to be happier," and it's from Redditch Rocks. So it says, post a pic on Facebook. So Auntie Jackie did that, didn't she? Yeah. And where are we going to post this happy stone so somebody else can find it and be happy? I don't know. Okay, Beth, where would you like to hide the happy stone? Jasper says you can choose the spot. I think he wants to put it in the spot, but you can choose it. That's it. It's like a little nest under yeah. there. That was a good spot, Beth. There you go. And then someone might see him and it might make them happy. Brilliant. Good yeah. job. I've got my lunch. Bethy Boo's sprinkling cheese over her roll. Jasper's got... What's in your sandwich, Jasper? Pickle tea, orange cheese and Orange cheese and pickle. And homemade hummus and breadsticks. Uh, carrot sticks. This is Beth's Christmas dinner. That's what she wants for her Christmas dinner. I will protect you against your consciousness. Oof. You two battling, are you? Pure, pure. Mm. I see. My one only has the pure shot. Oh, it's got little wibbly arms to make it move. You rotate the back, it's will do that, and he goes pure. I see. Teenage slob. Oh. Yeah. Where are we going in a minute? Mm. Where? School. Well, it'll all be good news, won't it? It's always good news. Yeah, whatever, Mum. So, we've just had a cheeky chicken and salad wrap from the local kebab van. Mm -mm -mm, very tasty. Um, I did get a large with the view that I would eat half of it tomorrow. But I was clearly so very hungry that I've eaten the whole lot now. Oops. Anyway, I uh, just did parents evening with Kenzie's no Brendan's tutor and uh, she was very pleased to see us. she didn't think she was seeing us she thought she was ringing me tomorrow and hadn't got the updated um, parents evening form off of her computer so I hadn't realized that I was booked in um, <clears throat> but she said he's like a different human being so this year compared to last year he's confident he's outgoing he's sociable she's like he's working I was like yeah I know big changes in the last few months um, we said he was start, he'd start going out with friends. We said work is going really well. So they're super proud of him. Um, definitely looking to get a C in biology. And um, things are going much better in chemistry. Now he's doing the AS and repeating last year. So yeah, definitely, definitely very pleased with him. Um, and I'm hoping Kenzie's tutor will call me tomorrow so that I can have the conversation with uh, with him about how Kenzie's doing. I don't think we're gonna have any problems. I'm pretty certain Kenzie's doing fine. He really struggled the first year. 
um, socially and in a bigger school and everything. But as soon as they put all the things in place to support him with his anxiety and his ASD and stuff, they were brilliant and he has settled right in and he's actually quite cocky these days. Quite cocky. So um, I think his confidence is boosted as well. Anyway, I'm running myself a bath. Lee and Kenzie are going to sit together and watch something, Batgirl or something. And I've just put a bath bomb in the bath and I'm going to lounge and have a cup of tea. Thank you for watching, you lovely lot, and I will see you all tomorrow.